He is known for being an American inventor, helicopter pioneer, and armchair philosopher. He is recognized for designing Bell Helicopter's first helicopter and inventing the stabilizer bar used on many early designs. His name is Arthur M. Young. In the realm of inventors and pioneers, one name stands out, Arthur Middleton Young, an extraordinary American inventor and helicopter pioneer. His contributions to the field of aviation are remarkable, as he designed Bell Helicopter's very first helicopter, the Model 30. But Young's genius extended beyond just engineering marvels. He was also an armchair philosopher, astrologer, and author, with a deep interest in the study of consciousness. One of Young's most significant inventions was the stabilizer bar, which he invented for Bell's early helicopter designs. This innovation played a crucial role in improving the stability and control of helicopters, revolutionizing the industry. Young's brilliance in engineering was matched only by his philosophical pursuits. In 1972, Young established the Institute for the Study of Consciousness in Berkeley. Through this institute, he sought to bridge the gap between human thought and experience and the realm of science. Young's philosophy, known as process philosophy, aimed to expand our understanding of the universe beyond what can be physically measured. He embraced concepts like evolution and the great chain of being, influencing thinkers like Stanislav Grof and Laban Koblenz. Arthur Middleton Young's life and work are a testament to the power of interdisciplinary thinking. His contributions to aviation and philosophy continue to inspire and challenge us to explore the boundaries of human knowledge. Young's legacy reminds us that true innovation often lies at the intersection of different fields, pushing us to question and expand our understanding of the world around us. Arthur, a young and curious mind, was driven by a desire to understand the fundamental nature of reality. He knew that to embark on this intellectual journey, he needed a strong foundation in mathematics and engineering. Inspired by philosopher Alfred North Whitehead, who was also a mathematician, Arthur set out to develop an invention that would pave the way for his ambitious pursuits. After graduating from Princeton University in 1927, Arthur returned to his father's farm in Radnor, Pennsylvania, where he dedicated 12 solitary years to perfecting helicopter design. His experiments primarily involved small-scale models, but he yearned to bring his vision to life on a larger scale. In 1941, as the specter of war loomed over the United States, Arthur approached the Bell Aircraft Company with his findings and models. Recognizing the potential, the company agreed to build full-scale prototypes. With the world on the brink of conflict, Arthur was issued a crucial patent for the rotor stabilizer bar and joined forces with Bell in Buffalo, New York. Seeking a location for their work away from prying eyes, Arthur and his team moved to Gardenville, New York, in June 1942. There, they toiled in secrecy, refining their creation. Finally, in July 1943, the prototype Model 30 took its inaugural flight. Three years later, the Bell Model 47 became the world's first commercial helicopter, a resounding success that even found its way into popular culture through the M**A**S**H movie and television series. However, Arthur's achievements in aviation did not quell his concerns about the destructive power of nuclear weapons. In 1946, he recorded in his notes an idea that would shape his future endeavors, the concept of the psychopter symbolizing the human spirit taking flight, embodied by the helicopter. By 1947, Arthur felt his work at Bell was complete, and he turned his attention towards a new chapter in his life as a philosopher of the mind. Recognized for his contributions, he was awarded the Edward Longstreth Medal by the Franklin Institute in 1949. In 1952, Arthur and his wife, Ruth, founded the Foundation for the Study of Consciousness, a precursor to the Institute for the Study of Consciousness. Alongside his philosophical pursuits, Arthur also delved into the realm of the supernatural, participating in seances conducted by Andrea Puharich's Roundtable Foundation in 1952. These experiences further shaped his understanding of the human consciousness and its potential. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.